That's something else. That is something I, that's unbelievable. That means that you can do anything. Takbir! 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 So when Kitha alayhi salam came to Musa alayhi salam, he was saying that there is a part of you that's even much greater than the law. Even though the law is great, the knowledge is great. But Allah Almighty is greater. Allah's not between the pages. And that's the reality that we fail to see. And that's why the situation in the society continues. And we have to run to our ballot boxes, to our aldermen and to our governors and to our mayors, begging them to help us. People losing their homes and we run to our banks and says, give me some mercy. <laughs> this is punishment. We have been reduced to the mercy of men and jinn because of our disobedience and disloyalty to our Lord, that's punishment. That means we have turned our way from Allah Almighty and Allah has turned his way from us. That's hell. You don't have to die to go to hell. And that's why when Allah Almighty sends his servants, he sends his servants to raise hell. And to knock the hell out of us. Mm -hmm. They cut us like a switchblade. We don't even know we're bleeding. That's how smooth they are. It's like they come like a thief in the night. We don't know when they come. Love works through them. Love says, my servants, they are the spies of the heart. Love puts them among us to see us and to know us and to move on us. They are fighters of shaitan. They are fighters of the ego. They are servants of Allah Almighty. They are the believers. They are the inheritors of the prophets. May Allah be pleased with them. They must be among us. That is the only way for us to return to our Lord. They are a mercy for us here and here. The woman loved Tafiq al Fatiha. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ayla kairu muslim muhammad nabi mi wa ahlihi wa sahbihi ajmeen amaba. And this is why beloved Muhammad Sallallahu was saying that if you have to go to China to meet one of them, go to China. Or if you have to crawl across ice. And at that time, they didn't know about ice and because the area, things were not like that like it is now. Things have happened the way they are now because of the rebellion of the of the people, certain geographical and climates have evolved because of the disobedience coming from the hearts of the human being. We have created such an erratic weather. They call it what is it? Global warming. This is not from anything other than the human being. It's coming from the elements. Law is not going to hold the elements responsible. Allah holds the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve responsible for any decadence, any disobedience, any rebellion, any kind of chaos, any kind of uh, uh, abominations that happens on the earth. Those people, you best people evolved for mankind that submit their will to Allah, they are the ones who Allah Almighty holds responsible. And if we are saying we are the best people to evolve for mankind, saying we are Muslim, those submitting their will to Allah Almighty, we must be may be assured that Allah is looking to us to change this situation. We don't have to go no further than ourselves. When we neglect our responsibility and start dropping things in our system to make us escape from our responsibility, it causes an eruption, a uh, war within our being. 
You don't know if you're living or you're dead. You don't know if you're coming or you're going. You don't know if you're happy or you're sad. You fear and you feel depressed and you grieve. Those, that is the symptoms of disobedience. Because that is not our nature, because our true nature is the nature of our Lord, our Creator. So we're asking Allah Almighty to return to our true being. Here, here, after the woman of Tawfi Kafatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Malik Yawmitin. Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasfaim. Ihdina al-sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-ladina inamta alayhim. Dayu al-mahdubi alayhim wa nadda'ah.